Hi, everyone. Our scripture reading tonight is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verses 37 to 38. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured onto your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. A few weeks ago on Sunday, some of you may remember that I preached a sermon on forgiveness. I told the story about a goldfish and how it has a 10 second memory. So it's the happiest animal on the earth. Because if you have a 10 second memory, you can't remember if someone's just hurt you some way. I still stand by that, but there's a piece that I left out. It's one thing to forgive others, to forget easily, but a lot of us have trouble forgiving ourselves. It's inevitable that no matter how hard we try, because we're around other people, no matter what we do, we will sometimes hurt someone. Not because we set out to do that, but because it just happens accidentally. And if you're anything like me, when that happens, you have trouble forgiving yourself. It's so much easier to be a goldfish and forgive and forget others than it is to forget myself, to forgive myself. Because we talked about forgiving others so recently, I just wanted us all to think about the other side of that coin, about forgiving ourselves when we have discovered that we accidentally hurt somebody. Friends, the best advice I can give you right now when the world is whirling and swirling around us and everything seems out of, out of control, the best advice I can give you is to be gentle with others and with yourselves. Be kind, be gentle, love God, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Will you pray with me? Most loving God, we are grateful that you model forgiveness for us, perfect forgiveness. And we ask that you remind us of that as we go through this world, as we move about, as we uh, need forgiveness, and as we give out forgiveness. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be great. Gracious, the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord lift his countenance on you and give peace.